Hi, welcome back to Educator.com. Today we're going to start off talking about critical reading. So this will be our introduction to critical reading and we'll get a sense of how this thing works. Legal disclaimer, test names are the registered trademarks of the respective owners. Said owners are not affiliated with Educator.com. The College Board was not involved in the production of and does not endorse this course. Well, welcome to Critical Reading. This lesson gives a quick explanation of what to expect in the critical reading sections. Well, that should be lesson, probably. Uh, we'll thoroughly talk of strategies later. So right now, we're just going to make an introduction. We're going to get a, a quick glance at how all this stuff works. Right now, we're just dipping our toes in how the critical reading section works. So what does it look like? Critical reading section breaks down into two subsections. The first one is the sentence completion subsection. That basically will wind up testing your vocabulary. Then there's the passage-based reading where you have to read texts in the test and then wind up asking, they'll ask questions and you have to answer questions about those things. So it will test your reading comprehension. Sentence completion questions will test your vocabulary by giving you a sentence with a blank or perhaps even blanks that you have to fill in with the correct word or words if it's multiple blanks. Passage-based reading questions test your ability to understand what you read. They'll give you a few passages of varying length and then you have to answer questions about those texts. So. We've previously talked about how questions increase in difficulty the farther you go. But remember, that's only true within a subsection. If you change subsections, it's no longer increasing difficulty along the same line. It drops back down. It sort of goes up, and then once you hit a new subsection, it drops back down. So you have this sort of sawtooth effect going on. So that means for this, we'll have sentence completion questions be ordered by difficulty. The later questions will be harder, and thus they'll be better candidates to skip. If you know you're kind of weak on your vocabulary, you want to be more prepared to skip those harder sentence completion questions. But the passage-based reading section is unique in that its questions are completely not ordered by difficulty. So the first part will go up in order of difficulty, but then once you switch into passage-based reading, it's going to be all over the place and you have no idea how it's going to go. The passage-based reading is not based on difficulty, but it is based in a really useful thing. It's based in the order that the questions come up in the text, for the most part. There are a few exceptions, but for the most part, you're going to see the questions will be about the text in the order that you read the text. So it will ask questions about the beginning of the text at the beginning of the questions, and it will ask questions about the end of the text text generally at the end of the questions. So that's really useful for finding your way around where you need to look in the text to find each of the answers. So what are the questions made up? How does it look? In the total, the SAT will give you 67 critical reading questions over the entire test. Don't worry, that's not just in one section, that's over the three sections you take. Of those, 19 are sentence completion and the other 48 are passage-based reading. And remember, this doesn't include what you might wind up having in an experimental section. If your experimental section winds up being critical reading, you'll get different numbers to this, but ultimately only 67 of them will matter. So 67 critical reading, 19 will be sentence completion, 48 passage-based reading. So for the most part, it's going to wind up testing your reading comprehension, but vocabulary is an important element of this. Generally, the first two critical reading sections will have about 24 questions, and the last is going to have 19. Also, within a section, the first five to eight questions are going to be sentence completion, and the rest of those will be passage-based reading. 